In our analysis, we characterized central banks and monetary policies as non-cooperative, non-homogeneous, and disynchronized. What does it mean for investors? It means high volatility and sometimes disruptions in financial markets, as we experience, especially in the currency markets. What do we expect in the near future? Unfortunately, we don't expect any improvement. Central banks will remain non-cooperative, disynchronized, and heterogeneous. But top of that, central banks will become more and more interdependent. Before to act, before to communicate, central banks will look at others before any acts. What does it mean for investors? Once again, uh, high volatility. It means, in fact, three consequences. The first one is low visibility we have will remain very low in financial markets, and especially in currency markets. And this is why we recommend to stay away from any high allocation in currencies. The second consequence is volatility, as we said, will remain high in all financial markets. And the third and last consequence is because of this high volatility, low visibility, diversification will remain key. We stick to our stance, stay diversified in order to protect portfolio with US treasuries and stay invested in uh, equities, especially in European equities, to generate returns.